Okay, <laughs> I got this wig, it's a little curly, but I got it for my Halloween costume. And I'm not gonna say what that is yet because we're gonna surprise you all. But, it's somebody. Meredith from the office. Yeah, Jacob says it's giving Meredith from the office and that is absolutely not what I'm going for. We love Meredith, but no. So guess who I am, and I'll see if, if it works. It's a, I'm just gonna give you a hint. It's a little curlier. I might try to straighten it. I don't own a straightener though. I don't know. I might just try to brush it out, or will that make it? For the, I got it at Goodwill. Is that gross? I got it at Goodwill. That's gross. That's gross. Oh well. Wait till they hear. These things are awesome. Super clean. Yeah, this is always a fun, you know, speculation, topic of speculation, right? Like what if the grid goes down or what if this and that? And again, back to like the principle of value and energy conversation, like we all can really only sell three things, an asset, our time, or our, our knowledge, skills. So really it just comes down to that, which what would make the most sense, you know, would I be able, like let's say the grid does go completely down and things get crazy, like I could sell my land and the tools I have for people to farm and make stuff, I could sell my knowledge of how to do certain things or I could give my time and go work somewhere. So I don't know, no clue what it would be, but I'll kind of wait to see and find out. And until then, keep honing all the skills try to be more well try to be well rounded but the internet does provide a fascinating opportunity for specifically scale and leverage in today's world and so being able to take advantage of it is a huge blessing